I love a good Mongolian lamb and I always remember going to my local Chinese restaurant to have it, especially when it comes out on a sizzling plate. The smell of it is fantastic and the taste is even better. So this is my version. There's a few steps to it. First of all, we need to make a marinade for the lamb. I've got two lamb back straps and before I prepare that, let's do the marinade. Very easy quantities to remember. Shaozing wine, two tablespoons. We need some sesame oil, about one tablespoon. You need a good hit of sesame oil for this. I want to taste it in this dish. And one tablespoon of soy sauce. We will be using a little bit more of that soy sauce later, so we'll keep it out. And just to thicken it up, I've got a little bit of flour. So this is just corn flour and we'll whisk it in so a paste is formed. Now it's just a small amount of marinade but enough just to coat very lightly our lamb. This is going to help it have a really nice sticky coating. Now for the lamb, this is about 400 grams. This is going to feed four people and I'm just going to cut it, oh, let's say about one centimetre pieces. This meat is just so tender. Just like butter, beautiful. Let's put that now into our marinade. I'm going to give it a stir. Now, if you can allow this to marinate overnight, fantastic. But if you want to make this recipe and do it when you get up from work, of course, you can just leave it in the fridge for one hour. It'll still work a treat. Now, let's cling film that nice and tight and into the fridge for an hour. Now, we can get on to the sauce. Again, really easy quantities to remember. Two tablespoons, again, of Shaozing wine and two dessert spoons of hoisin sauce. This is a rough measurement here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, two tablespoons of soy sauce. And a little bit more of that sesame oil. So we want about half a teaspoon, which is about that. And some oyster sauce. So lots of different sauces in this, but it's worth it. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. And this is going to thicken it up too. Now I'll just have a little taste there. Mmm, mmm, that's so good. All it needs is a little bit of sweetness, so about a teaspoon of sugar. So give that a stir and we'll put that to the side. A few other things that we can prepare before our meat is ready is some ginger and three cloves of garlic. So I'm just going to finely chop the ginger and finely chop the garlic and that'll be ready to go for when we start to stir fry along with our lamb later on. Right, this has been marinating for an hour, so let's start stir frying. I've got my wok on, nice clean wok. It's really, really hot. I've been heating it up for about five minutes. I want a really good sizzle, a flash fry with this lamb. So a little bit of vegetable oil in the bottom there. And we'll just swirl it around so it goes up around the sides. And you want to do this in batches. If you put all of this meat in at once, what will happen is it'll stew. We don't want that. We want it to be golden brown on each side. So you can do this in about two batches. And you can see that corn flour has stuck nicely to each piece of lamb there. All right, let's get frying. So a few seconds on each side, separating it. Each piece should be separated like this. And then after I've done this batch, I'm going to do the second batch. This last batch can come out. Oh, look at that. Looks good. And now we can add a little bit more of that vegetable oil, just a little bit, so we can now fry our ginger and garlic together. And I'm just going to continually stir that so it doesn't burn, because again, it's still really, really hot. As soon as it becomes really fragrant, we can add the meat back into this. That smells so good. And now some chilli paste. It's just a small amount in here. You can leave it out if you're serving this to the kitties and they don't like the spice in it. And we'll just give that another quick mix so it's just coating all of that ginger and garlic. And now we can return our meat and all of those juices, all these yummy juices are going to be perfect for finishing this dish off. 
So I'm going to just give that a good toss. We can add our snow peas here. So a good handful of snow peas. I've just cut them in half, given them a good wash. And I still want them to be crunchy. So you do want to leave these to the last minute. Oh, it's looking good. And don't forget that sauce that we've made. We'll just give it one more stir to we dissolve all of that sugar. And then in it goes. All right, we just want it to thicken up slightly and that corn flour is going to help that. So again, on that really high heat, stir that together. As soon as it becomes really glossy and there's not too much sauce left, we can take it out of the wok. Now, I like to serve this with a big bowl of hot, steamy rice and we can serve this now, heat off, sticky sauce and we'll just pour that in there. Oh, yum. See how there's not too much sauce left there? It's coated the snow peas and the meat. Oh, that is a stunning dish. You know what, I can't resist. I have to have a taste of this. I love it so much. Look at this lamb here. Mm. So tender and I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. Serve that to the family. They won't be disappointed. It's got a perfect combination of sweetness and saltiness and that lamb, mm, tastes so good.